Recently, we've been capturing a lot of motion time-lapse videos. This is where the camera pans and slides across the scene to create seamless fluid motion. We think this effect can work really well with project build videos. This is our project update for the motorized camera slider. It's a Bluetooth controlled camera system that we use for making motion time-lapse video. A timing belt is fixed between a stepper motor and bearing idle or pulley. When the stepper motor turns, it pulls on the timing belt, thus pushing the camera platform across the rail. The camera slides across slowly in tiny segments and takes a picture about every second. The motor is triggered through the Bluefruit app where modes can be set for the timing and direction of the motor. All of the components are held together with hardware and 3D printed mounts that we designed. It's still lightweight and portable so we can lug it around and use it outdoors. We can mount it to a tripod so we can shoot from higher angles and get more coverage. The electronics are based off the Adafruit Metro along with a motor shield to drive a single stepper motor. A Bluetooth module allows the stepper motor to be controlled with the smartphone or tablet using the Bluefruit app. The code and design files for this project are free to download. You can follow our step-by-step -step tutorial on the Adafruit Learning System. This is an open source project that you can remix, build, and even contribute. You can also support an awesome open source hardware company like Adafruit by purchasing products from their online shop. This linear railing system uses ball bearings for creating smooth motion. It's designed for CNC projects and it's machined out of high quality materials. I use this Syrup Genie Mini for creating panning motion. This little device can rotate a full 360 and is also Bluetooth controlled. It's got an internal motor that can create really smooth panning motion. It's designed to sit between your camera and tripod and combined with the slider, it can make for really awesome motion time-lapse video. I like to use an additional mini ball head mount for better angle adjustments. And for the camera, I like to use the GoPro Hero for wide angle shots and an iPhone for everything else. I like to use the camera lenses from the Moment company. These lenses are made from high quality glass and make the image look really good. For mounting, they use a dedicated case which are designed for a variety of different phones. To maintain perfect alignment, they twist and lock onto the case so there's no lens distortion. My tripod features a fluid head which can do both tilting and panning, but it also has the flexibility of a swivel ball head. A quick release plate allows the camera to be easily removed from the head of the tripod. These are secured to a 3D printed plate and mounted to the bottom of the slider assembly. I like to use two tripods for mounting to both ends of the slider, which provides really good stability. However, this can create the seesaw effect, which will make it rock back and forth. So we just have to make sure the legs of the tripod are properly adjusted. And once leveled, you can tighten everything to lock it into place. For lighting, we use LED panels mounted to C-stands. We like to bounce light off the ceiling to soften the shadows and highlights. When framing up a shot, we tend to level the tripod head after every adjustment, basically planning where the camera is going to start and stop. We tend to preview the motion through the camera several times before actually recording anything. It's difficult to keep an object in the center of the frame, so we find it necessary to make small adjustments and slide back and forth. Depending on the shot, the degrees of rotation will vary with the distance of the object. It can be a little challenging to line up the panning motion with the slider, so it just takes some practice. The recent GoPro cameras feature a time-lapse video mode, which makes it really easy to capture and record. Smartphones have a similar feature. Just remember to lock the exposure to keep your lighting consistent. Managing both the panning device and the slider through their own apps is a bit of a switching back and forth, so it's definitely a process. But I think using motion time lapses in your project videos can be a nice way to show your build process. It can give more interest to an otherwise repetitive task and show more of the space around a subject. So investing a bit more time and effort into capturing your builds can make for a more immersive experience. So we've been shooting a lot of our recent work with this system and I hope this inspires makers alike to experiment with motion time-lapse video.